Hello guys, this is Dr. Dubas MU and here in this video, today I am going to explain you Dunkerley's and Rayleigh's method. Dunkerley and Rayleigh's method, a question is asked on this topic for 10 to 12 marks in every paper of mechanical vibration. Okay, so let's start with the procedure to solve this numerical. So the first step of the procedure is to draw the diagram, read the question properly and draw the diagram correctly by looking all the terms properly. Then the step 2, step 2 involves find all the influence coefficient. Formula will be given in the question. The formula for the influence coefficient will be given in the question. You have to just write down the formula and put in the terms properly by looking into the diagram. Step 3 involves find beam constant. Okay. So from influence coefficient and, uh, and uh, by putting the values of, influ of influence coefficient and the deflection formulas from various terms you will get the beam constant uh, I will explain it pro uh, properly in when we will solve the numerical step 4 step 4 involves find natural frequency by RM formula Rayleigh method formula the Rayleigh method formula is omega n square is, is equal to g that is gravitational acceleration into submission of mi w i uh, mi yi upon submission of mi yi square where mi is the load and wi is the deflection okay so and this is the formula for beam loaded with two loads and this is the formula for beam with three load okay and if you look at the term properly w w is the load and y1 y2 and y3 where y1 is is given by that is deflection at point 1 is given by a11 w1 plus a12 w2 plus a13 w3 where a11 is the influence coefficient at point 11 and w1 is the load at point 1 okay and a12 followed by a12 w2 plus a13 w3 the a12 a13 a11 the value will be from this we will get this value from the step 2 that is find all the influence coefficient okay then the step 3 involves Dunkerley's formula the Dunkerley's formula is given by 1 by omega n square is equal to 1 by omega 1 square plus 1 by omega 2 square plus 1 by omega 3 square these are the numbers of load the formula is dependent on the number of load if there are only two load then only this form only this much the formula will be used okay where w1 the W1 will be given by G by Y1 where G is the 9.81 that is gravitational acceleration and Y1 Y1 is a deflection which is which is given by A11 W1 Y2 is equal to A22 W2 Y3 is equal to A33 W3 where A11 A22 A33 are the influence coefficient let understand this properly with the help of a question example Deflection under load is given. This is type 2. In this relax and Dunkerley, there are three types of numericals. Today, I am going to explain the type 2 in which the deflection under any load will be given. That is from this y1, y2, y3, any one deflection will be given. And then comes the type 3. The type 3 content in which the frequency, any one frequency that is omega n will be given you have to find out the value of c with the help of omega 1 omega n so in this type of numerical type 2 the question is 30 newton at 20 centimeter 40 newton at 40 centimeter 25 newton at 60 centimeter are the loading on cantilever beam from fixed end if the deflection under load 25 kilo newton is 5 mm find the natural frequency of the beam by Dunkerley and Rayleigh's method also find the natural frequency of the beam if 40 Newton is replaced by 50 Newton influence coefficient is given by a1 j a i j is equal to a j i is equal to s i square into 3 s j minus s i in divided by constant where s i and s j are the distances from left and left support okay so as you can see from the question 30 newton at 20 centimeter so 30 newton at 0 0.2 meter 40 newton at 
0.4 meter and 25 newton at 0.6 meter as you can see the question properly the question is divided into two parts the first part in which the these three loads are given and the second part in which the 40 newton is replaced by 50 newton okay so guys in every question the question will be divided into two parts in which one case is the normal case and the second case will be containing uh, an extra replacement or addition of the load okay the, so this is the formula now this was the step one okay the step two find the influence coefficient as you can see find the influence coefficient by the formula given in the question a i j a i j is equal to h i square 2 x j minus x i upon constant okay so let us find out the influence coefficient now the question addresses how to find what is s i and s j so look into the diagram properly s i s 1 1 at point 1 this is point 1 this is point 2 and point 3 a 1 1 is given by s i s i is the distance of the load from this from left hand okay so distance is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 and sj is the distance of this point from this end that is 6 minus point, point 0.6 minus point 0.2 that is so guys the step 2 the step 2 involves the to find influence coefficient okay the formula will be given in the question this is the formula as you can see a i j is equal to s i square into 3 s j minus x i upon constant so a11 a11 will be find will be find out by this way a11 a1 0 0.2 that is xi is equal to 0 0.2 into sj will be also from 0 0.2 because it is the distance from the left okay a12 a12 that means for si the distance si will be 0 0.2 and the distance sj will be 0 0.4 so 0. 2 into 0 0.4 okay a13 a13 is equal to a13 look at my hands properly so for 0.1 0 0.2 and for 3 it is the total distance 0 0.6 so si is 0 0.2 and sj is 0 0.6 as you can see then there comes a21 so a21 will be same as a12 okay so a12 is equal to a21 for a22 a22 will be given at point 2 a2 is from this distance that is 0 0.4 0 0.4 square 3 into 0 0.4 to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.4 okay then there comes a23 a23 means this distance that is si is equal to 0 0.4 and sj is equal to 0 0.6 si is equal to 0 0.4 and si is equal to 0 0.6 then there comes a31 a31 is same as a13 and a32 a32 is same as a23 then a33 a33 this means this distance from the left hand side okay so 0 0.6 si is 0 0.6 and xj is 0 0.6 same so just put in the values in the in the formula and you will get the influence coefficient from this formula so guys look here is a constant that is c c is unknown the step 3 involves find the beam constant so how will we find the beam constant as you can see in the question it was given that if the deflection under the load 25 newton is 5 mm the deflection under the load 25 mm is 5 mm so deflection as you can see deflection y3 is equal to a31 a31 w1 here a3 y3 is equal to a31 w1 plus a32 w2 plus a33 w3 so a31 we have written up so we i have put in the values you can see down works uh, from this we, we will get the value of c okay when we will put in the terms as you can see the c will be common it will be taken outside in the bracket 0 0.0064 into 30 that is load into coefficient coefficient load 
coefficient into load that will give us and here in the left hand side there is 0.05 that is the deflection so when you will put this all the terms in the calci you will get c which comes to be 4336 newton per mm square newton meter square so we got the c now as you can see for relics formula you require all the terms that is y1 y2 and y3 the y1 will be given by this formula so y1 is equal to a11 w1 plus a12 w2 plus a13 w3 so from this a11 is 0 0.16 812 is 0 0.04 and A3, A13 is 0 0.6 we have taken the C outside because if you put the C inside and uh, we put the values then the process will be lengthy and complicated that's why take the C outside and at the end divide it the value by C that is 433.4336 therefore the deflection at point 1 will be given by 8.48 into 10 to minus 4 meter at point 2 the deflection will be given by uh, by put the values a21 w1 plus a22 w2 plus a23 w3 and put in the values so you can get the uh, deflection at point 2 and deflection at point 3 is given by 0 0.05 meter that is given in the question so put the values in Rayleigh's formula so when you will see the Rayleigh's formula just put the values in Rayleigh's formula and you will get the answer that is omega n is equal to 51.88 radian per second the step 5 has the Dunkerley's formula for the Dunkerley's as you can see the Dunkerley's formula is 1 by omega n square is equal to 1 by omega 1 square plus 1 by omega 2 square plus 1 by omega 3 square omega n square is equal to g upon y1 plus y2 plus y3 so as we can see y1 y2 and y3 are unknown so we will find out the y1 value so y1 is equal to a11 w1 a11 is the influence coefficient at 11 and w1 is the load so just put in the values from the uh, influence coefficient from the we have calculated values of influence coefficient a11 a22 a33 okay and w1 w2 w3 are the load at point 1 2 and 3 so when we will put the values in the formula we will get the omega n by put the values properly in the calcium and get the value of omega n so this was the first part of the this was the first part of the numerical in the second part it was it is said that the load 40 newton is changed by 50 newton so as you can see in the diagram the load of 40 newton that means the load of 40 newton is changed by 50 newton so in place of 40 newton now, now there is 50 newton so we have to find the value once again we have to find the value the this will be given by as you can as you as you guys can see the distance are not changed therefore the influence coefficient will be same only the load will be different now the load that is the load at w2 will be different so you need to find out the y1 y2 and y3 for using the relics formula so y1 as you can see is given by a1 w1 plus a12 w2 plus a13 w3 and a11 is 0 0.016 w1 is 30 and a12 is 0 0.004 and a w2 that is the value of w2 was load was changed that is 50 and a13 all these values are seen the procedure ahead is similar you have to find y1 by you have to just change the value of w2 in every every step and it will easily help you to find as you can find the answer of omega n w2 y2 sorry y2 will be given as a21 w1 plus a22 w2 plus a23 w3 as the previous one as the previous step and y3 will be also the same just put the values properly from the uh, uh, value properly of influence coefficient and the loads put the values properly and you will easily get the omega n value by put the by putting the values in the calci properly then natural frequency by Dunkerley's method y1 the y1 will be same the y2 value will be changed because of omega 2 
W two W two was the load. Uh, previously it was forty newton. Now it is fifty newton. So the value will change. And W three W three is Y three is A three three W three A three three is the influence coefficient and W three is the load at the point three. So these are the values of Y one Y two and Y three from Dunkley's formula. Omega n is equal to root of g upon y1 plus y2 plus y3. So you have to use these values of y1, y2, y3, and uh, g. So just put the values correctly, and you will get the answer. So let me write omega n is equal to root of 9.81 divided by y1. Y1 is 1.10 into 10 raised to minus 4 plus 1.47 into 10 raised to minus 3 plus 2.43 into 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. So when we will put these values in the calci, you will get omega n. So guys, this was our video on Dunkerley's and Rayleigh's method. The numericals are very easy. Just look the terms properly and arrange the terms properly. So this was our for, this was our video on relics and Dunkerley's method. Thank you for watching our video. You can follow us on Facebook, and if you like our video, do press the li like icon, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank. You.